guess who came after all and what an entrance. Jeremy Corbyn left it late, but how could he resist trying to show up Theresa May who stayed away, maybe make up for the odd campaign gaffe. This was his chance and look at him, he meant to take it if he could. She came to stop him, her leader's favourite Amber Rudd. Fewer fans but a bigger motorcade and a single mission take down Jeremy Corbyn. Wherever Theresa May was, she wanted this, the nearest thing this election has to a contact sport, to go her way. Amber Rudd was straight into the attack after Mr Corbyn criticised treatment of those on disability benefits. You're not credible Jeremy, on this Jeremy, I know there is no extra payment you don't want to add to, no tax you don't want to rise, but the fact is we have to concentrate our resources on the people who need it most and we have to stop thinking, as you do, that there's a magic money tree. You have to be accountable of the, strong, of the exactly money you want to spend. I'd like, I'd like to bring in some of the other parties. It was already a personal confrontation. The Labour leader counter-attacking on poverty. I would just say this, since Amber Rudd seems so confident that this is a country at ease with itself, have you been to a food bank? Have you seen people sleeping around our station? Have you seen... For Amber to say that this is a government that actually cares for those most vulnerable, mm. I think is downright insulting to the kind of people that I see my, in my constituency surgery. This though was a seven-sided yeah. debate. Brexit was inevitably a big issue tonight. Passion and heat from all sides. We have to get the population under control because if we carry on on the road we're on, we'll have a population of 80 million by the middle of this century. Now you just think what will happen. There'll have to be a huge school building programme. There'll be, have to be new hospitals, new motorways, a new rail network, new houses. We're already having to build a house every seven minutes simply to keep up with the numbers of people coming to this country. Okay. And I'm afraid that UKIP keep using this issue. They want to whip up people's hatred, division no. and fear. And that's no. why they talk about no, immigration I've got to come back all the time. I've got to come back. I think this debate shames and demeans us all. I don't think there's anyone in this room or anybody watching this debate from Cornwall to Caithness who does not understand the positive contribution that people have made to this land who've come from the rest of Europe and the rest of the world. And demonising those people is totally unacceptable. Amber Rudd took her opportunity. If Theresa May had come along, she'd have said what her stand-in said next. And I was thinking how chaotic it would be if they all got together, formed a coalition, and tried to run a government. What, and try to do. coalition. And and you you do. A Tory, you kept coalition. Jeremy Corbyn was put under pressure. He'd come to apply pressure of his own on pensions. You've said very Are you going clearly, to protect the Jeremy, law? Jeremy, have you not read my manifesto? I'm happy to give you a copy after. I'd love to have one, but the I'd like is, the answer now. Are we've, you we've, going we've to protect the law? No, they're going to get rid of it, Jeremy. They're going to get rid of it. Jeremy, to to get no, rid of it. Bad. Bad. Terrorism was always going to be a hot topic, and it was. And I am shocked that Jeremy Corbyn, just in 2011, boasted that he had opposed every piece of anti-terror legislation in his 30 years in, in, in office. My opposition to anti-terror legislation isn't opposition to protecting us from terrorism. It is simply saying there must be judicial oversight over what is done in our name. You right. cannot there is. give... There is. It got heated. UKIP's leader demanded more action against extremists from Muslims. Too much for Tim Farron. You have to, Paul, we have to, you know that the we have to rebuild trust Monday. and confidence you know, Paul, in prevention. You know, Paul, that the murderer last Monday was reported five separate okay, occasions by the Muslim community. Caroline they want Lucas our safety as much as anybody else. Then it was over. No knockout blows, but this fight's heating up. Just a week to go. John Pienaar, BBC News, Cambridge.